Hey everybody, so um, this is the first tutorial here. We're going to be using a normal photo in PowerPoint and uh, make it, you know, or frame it a little bit better so you can use it in like a project, a photo album, inside of a photo album, not like, you get what I mean. But uh, we're going to be using this instead of having to use the normal PowerPoint borders where it limits you to these simple little frames. I mean, they're cool, but, you know, it's kind of fun to be a little bit creative. So let's just see how we did it. All right, guys, so let's just start off here. Let's go insert picture, bring in our picture we want to edit here. And now we just need our frame that we want to work with. So let's open up the internet. I use Google Chrome just because I like it. So let's just see antique frame. Researched it a few times here. Images, you want to go with something that's kind of white, you know, or just one color background so we can get rid of the transparent color uh, later on. Uh, Shutterstock, we, it's a little bit harder to get rid of this. I mean, there's a few different ways I can show you, but it's just easier to look for one that doesn't have any watermark. So let's just use one. I already saved one uh, on my hard drive, so let's just open up that. Uh, insert picture. Here's the frame. And OK. So now we want to get rid of the white. Now, the cool thing about PowerPoint 2011 is it comes out with a format color where we can get rid of the uh, a main color here. So in this case, we want to get rid of white because that's pretty much where we want our picture to be in. So set transparent color, and we'll click on white. We'll go put it right here. Let's size this up. Put a picture. Okay. Now we want our picture to kind of go along with the mm, how do you say with the frame. So let's change the color style. So again, click the picture we want to put inside the frame. Go format color and we're going to make this a sepia tone um, already a preset and now we can just crop the picture so it fits a little bit better so we don't have those leftovers so let's crop this up a bit here we go and we press crop again just to save it okay so now that we've cropped it here let's just Oh, hold on, whoops. Uh, let's move a little bit closer to the middle of our screen here. All right. Let me just reposition a little bit. Here we go. Move it down a bit. Here we go. Now, if you notice, we have this little bit of white trimming around. You know, so in this case, it's not too much. You could probably get away with it. But say you have a lot of white trimming, we can get rid of that a little bit here. Let's click on the frame. Right click. Let me go a little higher. Uh, format picture. Let's go to glow and soft edges. Let's say color. So we want it to be. Uh, no, it's a little too dark. To say. Well, not too dark. It's a little different. Uh, let's see. We're gonna size it up a bit. I mean, it doesn't get rid of the white, but you know, it adds a little bit something so it doesn't look too much, you know. So here we go. Close, and now if you want to move it around easily with the picture inside, because notice if I just move this around, the picture doesn't stay with it. So, Control Z. Um, let's highlight all this. Right click, say group, and now it's completely set to itself you can resize it and the picture inside the frame is relevant to the frame itself so let's just put this back how it was earlier alright so now you just can put in your project or wherever you want it and you don't have to use Photoshop at all